Hi, my name is Thomas Maurer. I'm a cloud advocate at Microsoft and I'm going to show you how you can configure Azure Monitor directly from Windows Admin Center. I'm here in Windows Admin Center um, and I want to monitor my servers from Azure. So what I'm going to do is I go to um, one of my servers I want to monitor. I go to settings and I go to monitor alerts. And here you can see I can set up monitoring and alerts with Azure Monitor. So Azure will basically check, um, will get the logs, the log information, and I can then uh, set rules to see if something, for example, disk space um, is, is less than a certain percentage, and then it will send me a notification or will open an incident in my ITSM. Uh, tool, or I can directly create an action, for example, using Azure Logic Apps or Azure Functions. So let's set it up. I click on Setup here. Now you can see that my um, server here is already connected to a Log Analytics workspace. That's why everything is already uh, preset. If my server is not already configured for that, uh, I can select a, uh, log, um, a log analytics workspace uh, and connect to that. So let's set that up. So after a couple of minutes, the setup is done and my server is now connected to Azure Monitor um, using the log analytics workspace. For that, I now go to Azure in the workspace and under alerts, I can set up new alert rules. So we're going to do that. We're going to set up a new alert rule here. And when you create a new rule, you can first set up basically the source, which is now my specific Azure uh, update uh, WAC 01 um, log analytics workspace. And then the next thing I can define is basically a condition. So let's define a condition. And we have some predefined signals, as we call them, where basically uh, metrics or and let's see if we can go and find something with disk space. So I can see there is a signal called uh, percentage free space. So that sounds perfect. Let's click on that. And we can also see um, how that was like the data we had was aggregated. If we scroll down here, we can basically select if that just counts for a specific server and we select the server. And here we can also enter the threshold. So what we want to do here is um, if this space is less than, let's say 10%, then we should uh, trigger the specific action, right? So that's basically what I want to do. And now the next thing we need to do is we need to select a action group or create an action group. Uh, so let's create a new one. Let's give it a name. Disk space alerts. Disk space. And then that's it. So the next thing I want to do is I want to like give the action a name. Um, and I can also select an action type. So the action types here are, or my possibilities are to send out a notification using email, SMS, push, push or voice notification. But I can also directly, for example, trigger an Azure function, a logic app, a webhook or an automation runbook. And if I have an ITSM connected, then I can also, for example, directly create a incident directly in my ITSM tool. So this is pretty awesome. Um, I hope this helps to see how you can set up uh, monitoring using Azure Monitor for your Windows servers uh, on-prem.